shit. I had to put you in my spice cabinet. Um, I have my, I have all my ingredients for my chicken pot pie. I have the chicken cooking now, um, with like you know the creamy sauce. So it's onion, celery, carrots, peas, and then I chopped up some mushrooms because we like mushrooms here. And then. I have a London broil that I'm going to make like a, like a pot roast type kind of thing. And then pickle dip, because we're having a party at work tomorrow and I'm making pickle dip. So, let me see. I have you guys, I have it in my, um, how do I turn my camera around? Oh, there we go. So, I have everything out. So that's the, um, the cream, it's just cream of chicken with some chicken breasts and then I'm going to sear the beef and, uh, get everything else. I tried doing my tripod, but it's, uh, it's not working here from a little kitchen. So you guys are just going to have to hang out in the spices. What did you cook last night? I saw that you were cooking some uh, of that dudes that uh, just make stuff up. What did you cook? I don't want to burn my meat, but I got to burn the meat, you know? Where is my, whatchamacallit? I have... I just used tongs. I saw it, um, you made like some apple pie with sausage and bacon. Is that right? Did I say that right? Oh, what's going on with these carrots? I find that these are um, the ones that are, you know, picked are better to cook with than the uh, sickening sweet, but the hamburger. I mean, you know, I guess it's an acquired taste. I like cooking with the regular carrots than I do the baby carrots that you would just pull out of that bag and use like for um, like a fruited hay dip, you know, platter. So I just have to make sure they don't go down my, hey Denise, oh damn it Danny. Uh, look, you guys are, Dan Danny, you're in my spice cabinet, you're all the way over there. Sorry. Um. How have you been? I, uh, saw that your pie was, I don't know, it's a crier taste. Yeah, I don't know if I could be that adventurous. I really don't. 
I really honestly don't think I could be that adventurous. This is not Chef Natter. It's just Wooder. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I just put a little bit of water in my pot. Babe! Let me turn the fan on. Sorry. I have a galley kitchen that doesn't have any windows, so everything just stays in here. Trust me, it's not spoke of steam. I wanted to, um, Mrs. Voorhees. How have you been, darling? I always have a trash bag, like a little bag around, um, when I'm cooking, it's just to put the scraps in. I can't put the carrot peels down my garbage disposal or else they'll uh, kill the disposal and my husband's cousin will have to come back. So we got in London Broil because they were out of, um, they were out of rump roast. So I just got in London Broil and I'm cutting it like in half. And I'm just going to put it in the pot. And then... Put all my veggies in it. So I'll put that in there. And I'll cook it for like on... Um, like between... Like low. For a couple of hours. But I got to finish... I tried prepping as much as I could before we came live. I'm like, everybody makes a roast and everybody, you know, I don't know. Do you guys do pot pies? I like to do it the easy way. In and out. So I have, um beef broth that I'll put in this um, I don't use the whole can I just use a little bit two cans of diced tomatoes I don't like those flavored diced tomatoes just give me the regular ones so two cans of those half a can of uh, beef broth for recycles. So what do we think about the heifer? Was she with him or not? Well, Danny, you know what? I, um, I ordered a rump roast and they said that they didn't have it. They also said that they didn't have bananas. I'm pretty sure that ShopRite has bananas. Okay. My husband just on the way. I, I'm making the um, pickle dip. And I need it uh, fresh still. So my husband was kind enough to run to the store for me. And um, he found bananas. He found the bananas. I think like if you do like personal shopping. 
because with our hours sometimes it's just easier to do personal shopping like online uh you know they just don't give a shit and just put whatever they want so my chicken and soup is coming together Uh, Danny, I watched your, I don't know why that's on. Hi. I watched your daughter, that short you put up. What the hell was that? Why was the egg black? And why did she want to try it? Yes, Miss Voorhees, pickle dip. As soon as I get all this stuff together. Oh, crap. I should put my oven on. Look, if your cookie sheets don't look all banged up, then you're doing something wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I'm having a bad back day. Well, not really a bad back day, but we went to church and everything like that, and it's just kind of giving me a little trouble, so I'm not going to push it, so I'm sitting on my stool. Plus, I can see you guys. If I was standing, I wouldn't be able to see you. Um, but did you answer my question? What happened here? <gasps> no, no. What? We never get to see her. She wants to go to work. Um, so yeah, I saw the, the peeling of the egg, which was, um, exciting because it was, it, it, she took her time doing that. And then as it got more peeled and was black, no, but did they actually come that way? I could only imagine telling my husband here, here's a hard boiled egg and give him that. I'd be in divorce court, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, did it smell? I cannot, I, no, no, no. Jojo B, how are you? We're doing, I'm prepping my stuff. I got my, uh, back to turn this off. Century eggs, right. Because they're a century old or because, like, how are they made? W w w tell me, e e educate me. I cut my onion or my carrots into huge, oh, that looks like my cutting board, my cheese board. P.S. If you like that cheese board, the state, they have every, every state on Amazon. I, I, I don't know anything other than a large or an extra large egg. How do you guys know all this stuff? I was telling everybody, for everybody that's just coming in, I tried my tripod and um, it, my, I have a very, very tiny, tiny kitchen. Um, and my... There's hardly any counter space, but I don't know where I would put. I have it standing on the oven, but then you, I wouldn't be able to see the chat. So you guys are up in the spice, spice rack up against the ranch, the parsley, and the oregano. Okay, let me know if you have any allergies. I'll move you.
And if you missed what I'm cooking because you just came in, I got chicken pot pie going on. In fact, I just cooked the chicken inside the cream soup. Where'd my rubber spatula go? Just to, like, you know, cook it a little bit through. So, I have that going. And then in a bowl, I have my... Um, Onions, celery, carrots, peas, and then I hard chopped uh, some mushrooms. Because, I mean, you can't go wrong with mushrooms. Now I'm just afraid it's not going to fit in the pie shell. One time I added string beans to it, then another, you know. You can add whatever you want in a pot, pot pie. It is, it, like, we just, I just started, like, playing around making these, so it's not, um, it, it doesn't matter, right? Everything, everything together in one pie is good. I, I think except for bacon and cheese and apples and cinnamon. That guy, I, I asked you in your live if he was high. I, I don't even know who that guy is. But I would probably turn down any meal he presented me. I would be like natter and pick up my hot pan. So this is the inside. You know what? Let's not be completely Polish. Let me put it inside the pie shell. I use Pillsbury pie crust in just a regular pie dish. Let's see. Pray. Pray it all fits. Oh, geez. It's going to be overload, but that's all right. All right. Now I just got to put the top crust on. Wait for the oven to come to temp. And who's here now? There's Denise. I saw the spoilers. I saw the spoilers and I saw the rumors. And, uh, you know. That's, uh, a very unfortunate situation there. Like, uh, it's 2022. I'm just pinching my pie crusts together. Give me one second. Recalendar ain't got nothing on me. I mean, well, at least it looks heavy, right? That's a big, that's a big pot pie. Put that off to the side. I usually do all my, um, wait, sushi pizza is a thing. How is that a thing? Like just sushi on, what? Listen, I try. If I want Sephora, I have to, uh, you know, 
work for it. I'll show everybody my, uh, which I'm gonna call it in a minute. I hard chopped the celery, like all of the vegetables that I put in my pot roast, I just, uh, I just hard chop. I don't, like there's no rhyme or reason. I'm not julienne and like Dyson and all that stuff. Not for a pot roast. That's hearty. That's some hearty stuff. In there. We use a lot of garlic. So yeah, I saw her on this morning saying that it wasn't him in that in that clip that everybody heard. Because uh, I had a full morning. I had to get up. I had to go to church. We went to breakfast or lunch. My waitress pissed me off. Excuse me, server. We go to the same place all the time and I tell my husband, I'm like, let's try to avoid that one. And we got her today. I want it. Have you guys ever had a grilled cheese crab cake? Like crab cake grilled cheese? Just like crab cake and grilled cheese. It's not rocket science. And she's like, well, I can order this and that and that. And I'm like, but then I'm paying for two sandwiches. I'm telling, I put, um, it's grilled cheese. At Christmas time, we do our, uh, Christmas Eve is our big thing here. And, uh, we make homemade crab cakes. And I always go, if I go to Trader Joe's, I always pick up their, uh, their sourdough bread, San Francisco sourdough. So I, um, One year, it was New Year's, I was here by myself. I, I made a grilled cheese with a crab cake. It was the best thing I've ever had in my life. So now, like my husband got uh, stuffed salmon last week. And he said the crab meat, you know, like the, what they stuffed it with, it was really good. It was nice, you know, it was meaty. So all night I've been thinking about, I, I was even online looking at the menu. Fat girl problems. That's what I was, I was always thinking about. And then she hit me with, she wants to charge us for like a grilled cheese and uh, the crab cake sandwich. And they said, so she went back and she asked them and they said that they'll make me an open face sandwich. You can't grill it. Like it, it's like a grilled cheese with bacon only substitute the bacon for a crab cake. It's not hard. All right, what am I missing in here? Mushrooms. Everybody, like that's popular cheese and apples, but I, I can't say that I've done it. I, I can't pull the trigger. I just can't. But if I'm making like a um, charcuterie board, then I have like, like fruits and cheese and meats and stuff like that all the time. So I, I don't know. It's just a thing for me, I guess. I don't know. But check out what MC uh, made the other, uh, what was it, yesterday? It had marshmallows in it and everything. I got baby bell and mushrooms. Uh, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. 
I'll have to take your word for it. I only like apples in my turnover. So I think what I'll try to do is once I get all this stuff, because I'm just like chopping my baby bellas in half and throwing them in. And then I'll let that, oh, it should be on, huh? Um, I'll let the, the, the beef just to, like, you know, roast cook for like maybe, uh, three and a half hours on low. So like all of my mushrooms, my carrots, celery, onion, the diced tomatoes, beef broth, and garlic, minced garlic. It's all in there. Got a huge tub of mushrooms. Down to my last plastic bag. All right, 45 minutes. just a second because I have to clean as I go or I'm crazy. So for the pickle dip, I'll try to put yous on the, the tripod and see if it works. Because we're almost at the pickle dip. I won't put my pots and pans in my dishwasher. They they were a very big treat for me when I bought my house. I bought myself a big girl gift. They were quite expensive. Anybody else pick up stuff that falls on the floor? Okay, do we have more tape, paper towels down here? So the roast is going, like I said, I got it. I got the chicken pot pie in for 45 minutes. The pot roast, what time is it? I don't even know. Well, the house will start smelling. back, get rid of my stuff. Alright. 
I'm back. Oh, no, I'm not. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ice cream sandwiches too? I almost just wiped out. My floor is wet. Could you imagine? My husband went to read his water ice last night. And I just saw ice cream sandwiches. All right, so, come on, Daphne. It is a known fact that if you have a KitchenAid mixer, you're supposed to name it. And mine's named Daphne. Because she's sassy. Did you name yours? Does anybody have one and named it? Because I'm telling you right now, Google it. It says that you're supposed to name your your KitchenAid. All right. Secured. Madison. Well, you better get on that, Denise. Because you're supposed to name it. All right, you guys are going to be rocking and rolling because I am going to try to. I put it in the tripod and it turned off. Because, you know, I know what I'm doing. All right. See, it's not. Houston, we have a problem. I think I might, we might, we might have, all right, let me put it down a little bit. Welcome to my kitchen. I just made a mess, but kind of cleaned it up. So every, I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you might. My office is, we're opening up another office. So tomorrow, is the last day that all of us are going to be in the same location. So we're having a potluck lunch kind of thing. So everybody's bringing in something. Like the one doctor's wife is going to bring in um, uh, a dish from her culture. I, I don't... I know she's a uh, Pakistanian, so something from from there. It's just she said cheese or chicken and rice. So I said I'll make the pickle dip because everybody keeps asking me for the pickle dip. Two blocks of cream cheese. You can obviously just use one block, but I know they're all gonna love it and they're gonna want more, so I might as well just make a double batch. So two whole. And you can use like low fat, fat free. You can use uh, store brand, whatever you use. You can use whatever you want. Throw that in there. The recipe calls for um, 
one brick of cream cheese and let me see if I can move this over here without burning down my house. Don't mind all my cleaning supplies over there. Um, it calls for like one brick of cream cheese, obviously. And let's see. I want it this way. So this is why I didn't do this. All right. If you did one brick of cream cheese, then you do one quarter onion. Since I'm doing two, I'm gonna do half an onion. I don't like that part. What's going on with these crazy vegetables today? Finally, finally dice. I just eyeball it. I mean, obviously, if you love onions, like, you know, go ham, whatever. That's not going to cover it. But, as. Finally, as you can get it. So it, you know, just make sure that they're really, really finely chopped. get those two things out of the way now I'm gonna get um these are the sandwich ones like the sliced ones they're so much easier to do with this because I mean if you got pickle spears whatever whatever's on sale whatever brand as long as it's dill you'll be fine but I just find when I'm chopping these I just stack them And cook them. It doesn't matter how. I try to keep it small chunks. But when you get into the middle of the. The pickle. It's. Every man for himself. So with this too is that um, I have three English cucumbers over there that I'm going to uh, cut up because somebody's bringing in a bag of chips and then I have someone else. Are you really seriously going to be uh, someone else is bringing in like celery and carrots and stuff like that. It goes great with um, Vegetables, chips, crackers, cheese, uh, and you can actually put it on, um, like your burgers, like, you know, your cheeseburger is a, a garnish. Anything you want to put pickles on, just throw it on there. It's cream cheese and pickles. 
I mean, you know, who the hell cares? I obviously want to have this like, you know, this is the main flavor. So I'll probably use that full jar, but I'll see as I go. It's all eyeballing for me. I don't really measure stuff unless I'm bacon. Cause you know, bacon's a science. Cooking is from the heart. sure what he's watching. He's out there laughing his ass off. Did you hear him? Can you see me doing this? Alright, so mission is to name Denise's KitchenAid. Everybody come up with some ideas. This is the hot pink one with the sparkles in it, you know, because I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Everything in my house is teal, but I wanted that one, and it was a birthday gift. So I thought she was sassy, so I named her Daphne. I bought one of those knock-me-off... Um, What the hell are those vacuum cleaners called? Zumbas? I bought one of those. That's Sheila. It doesn't work. Waste of money. I shouldn't say that. It did work for like the first few months. And now it's just... She's dead. She died. Rip. Rip, Sheila. All right, so this looks like it's kind of like, it looks like there's a pretty good amount of pickles in there. And I know I got the onions. And then you're supposed to eyeball this. I just pour a little bit in at a time so that it helps, um, oops, so that it helps, you know, loosen up the cream cheese. All right, don't be a dick, please. Everything have to kick my ass this weekend. <sighs> Everything's going to have to give me a hard time. That's okay, it builds character. <laughs> no, we don't have birds here. I would probably dig pe uh, pickle pizza. Oh, and see, I would, I would have more than, yeah, I mean. My husband and I talk about it. Well, we don't talk about it all the time because we don't play the lottery, but if we did and we won, yes, we would probably build our own home. And uh, I'm sure he would make sure that I had a, a very modern kitchen because he's he's uh, the one. He requests that I that I cook. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more loose.
and I'm making it more loose because it's going to go back into the refrigerator and it's going to firm up a bit. So. And there it is. The trick here. This is the trick. Me dill. It's a big deal. Fresh dill. You have to have the fresh dill. Now, do not put the dill in your mixer. Because what's going to happen is it's going to stick to the bottom of the whisk in one big clump, and then you're going to be cursing your life. So take it from me. Don't put it on. Don't put it in your mixer. I kind of keep some stems. But for the most part, I just rip the tops off. And then I have enough for another time. I don't think it'll been up. So I just, uh, a pain in the ass. To chop. But it brings out all the flavors and it just makes it seem, you know, taste fresh. You don't need a lot. Just mix it around. And that, my friends, is the pickle dip. It's a very easy. And I'm telling you, it is so good. My family will not allow me to go to get togethers without making it. So, and there's some there's some picky ass bitches over there. So, just put that there. Let that sit. And then I'll put it in a put it in a Tupperware bowl. And here I am. Sweaty mess. Uh, I'll put it in like a you know, like a Tupperware bowl. And then I have like a cupcake holder. I'll put like tin foil in it and then I'll just chop up all of the cucumbers so that everybody can just dip into it and then if they want to like with the celery and carrots that are coming too so and i like the english cucumbers because they don't repeat on me because i love cucumbers it's just refreshing too because then you know how like you're always at a party and there's just nothing but like high sodium even though these are high sodium dips and chips and all of that stuff it's just nice and refreshing. So, um, that's it. I got the roast on the chicken Popeye has about 25 more minutes and I don't have to cook for the rest of the week. That's the best part. I always regret, I always think on Sunday morning, like, oh, I have to cook today. But then Monday, when I'm coming home from work, I'm like, yeah, I'm out of it. I got out of it. So. Anyway, so what's everybody else going to do for the rest of the day? I don't even know what time it is. I know I came on here at like three. That's not bad. Like in 51 minutes, I got a pot pie done, a roast is on, and I got my pickle dip done. That's not too bad. The 
just all leave me. Uh, Denise, I do cucumbers. There's celery, carrots. Um, you do crackers. You can do, um, uh, like Tostitos, anything, your finger, anything. Yeah, I should go well then, but I won't. I have to start doing something because my back's not getting any better, so... You know, if I did something about it, then I wouldn't be complaining about everything. We just, uh, I'm done for the day. Like I said, we, uh, we go to church and then we go out to eat. I come home, I cook, and now I'll go upstairs and I have to fold the rest of laundry. I have, I have a load I have to do because I didn't do shit yesterday except play on that damn computer. You can put it in a tuna. I'm telling you, everybody's going to be like, holy cow. You really should make it. It's so, again, you can use whatever cream cheese you want. If you're like watching things like the calories, you could use fat free. You could lose, use low fat. Um, any kind of brand you want, doesn't matter. Cause once you put the pickles and the onions in and then give it the fresh dill, you, 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 You'll thank me. And I'm just, you know, like I said, I, I know that everybody's going to bring chips in. So I know to put cucumbers with it. And if you're at like a summer barbecue, it's really refreshing. So, I mean, it doesn't go to waste. It does not go to waste. So if I started at three and it's just getting on an hour. Hey babe, can you put your phone alarm on for uh, an hour and 45 minutes? Please. I swear he exists. He just doesn't want to be on, on film. I was talking to him today, or like in, on the way to church. And I said, you know, cause we drive to Florida, we don't fly. I said, when we go to Florida, do you care if I like vlog and like, you know, maybe go live? Cause it's like, I think we travel like 12 hours the first day. We'll, we'll ride 12 hours and we stop at the very south of Georgia, right before Florida. And then we get up and we just drive right through Florida down to uh, Pompano. So like, that would be fun. We'd do car games or something. I don't know, just thinking out now. Cucumber chips. For everybody in work that's going to be a it'll be a good time the doctor that i work with he got engaged yesterday friday night he got engaged yesterday he had a he ran it like a he says a yacht and then cracks up and he's like no really it was just like a party boat so we'll get to celebrate him too Because, you know, we're good peeps. We are good peeps. 
I'm saying you should put in, um, you should make this and then uh, put it in one of your one of your pies or something, and send it off to your guy. Tell him to make it. Let me throw my trash out. Are there battles that you just give up on? Mine's the Tupperware section in the kitchen. I can't. It, it's just, I, I'm, I, I just, I give up. I, I give up. It's a battle I can't win. <sighs> Dill. Well, I prefer, uh, I don't know. What kind of, my husband said he bought bananas. And I got this, um, my mom gifted us these, the um, Blendy Jets. It's okay. Well, Madison, um, my ball breaking friend, I like to clean as I cook. So I just wanted to get rid of my trash. I'm here now, I promise. Uh, it, the, yeah, the blendy jet thing, it's okay. You can't really, if you want something that's like really icy or something like that, eh, I mean, I think if you're going to do like a protein shake or, I mean, it's okay. I'm glad she bought it and I didn't, let's put it that way. No offense, Mom. I know you're not watching, but still. No offense. It's not all that great. And how much are they? Like 50 bucks a piece? She bought both of us one. So I was having the stomach issues. I made like a... um. I made a banana smoothie because uh, I couldn't really keep anything down and I felt my legs were killing me. So I'm like, eh. All right, so there's the dip. That's how much it you get. I don't, I don't know, whatever. It's one of these Tupperware things that the lid's not fitting on. Let's go over there. So, that is my weekly prep game. 
in my small kitchen doing my thing. Uh, I asked him to put the timer on and I wondered why he didn't answer me. I just went in the other room and he's sleeping. So, he's taking a nap. You know? He might not be sleeping now. All right, so um, I'm going to put everything together, like my cupcake thing and all of that stuff, but I'll take, I'll take like a, maybe I'll do a short and show everybody what it turned out to look like, but I appreciate everybody hanging with me. I know I couldn't talk really much because I was paying attention to what was going on in my kitchen. I have one pot to clean. And then I, um, I'm going to, Joe, Joe, I was actually going to make, um, my chocolate cupcakes and, uh, peanut butter frosting. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. No, I'm just not in the mood. So somebody tomorrow can, uh, Go grab ice cream or something like that across the street because I'm just not doing it. You too, MCM. I, I really, I have like a really, really, which I won't put on because like my chocolate cake recipe is, uh, it's really good and it's a secret. So, but the freaking cake is so good. And... I make the homemade peanut butter icing. So I can, I could share that recipe, but the chocolate cake, you're asking, you ain't getting it. It's so like light and um, really moist and you can't mess it up. There's absolutely no way to mess it up. So he's in there snoring. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me. I am going to go because I want to do, I'm going to finish up his laundry, throw mine, throw my one load in, you know, because I'm always doing laundry. And um, I'll catch up with all of you girls in a little bit. Thanks. Bye.